Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Right now, we're going to go ahead and make a cookie cutter, and we're going to make the most basic cookie cutter we can make. Uh, this is going to be a circular cutter, and it's going to look, well, like a circle. So first, like always, we're going to go ahead and start with a sketch. We want to go ahead and de develop this in the pattern that it's going to be on the printer. So we're going to be designing this for 3D printing, so let's go ahead and design it so that it's sitting on the top plane right here. Uh, now, when we go to make this cookie cutter, it's going to print from the bottom up, so we should design it with that, with that thought in mind. So, top plane, here we are, and we're going to go ahead and do normal two by tapping the end key on the keyboard, and then we're going to go ahead and grab the circle tool, and we're going to draw one, two, three circles. That third circle, I mean, all three circles should be concentric to each other, so we're going to use the same center point. Here we go. There you go. The size of these circles, we're going to make a three inch diameter cookie, so we're going to go ahead and make the inside circle three inches. And then we're going to make the outside, we're going to make the thickness of the circle, uh, the thickness of the cutting flange, uh, six hundredths of an inch. So that means that the total distance across will be three plus six hundredths, point oh six times two, because there's two sides. We're going to be measuring for, we're going all the way across. So that's Three point, three point, three point, come on, type, one, two inches. And then we want to go and create a outer flange that's a quarter inch bigger than that. So quarter inch times two is 0.5. So we're going to add 0.5 to that. So it's going to be 3.62, 3.62. Inches. And so there is our sketches for the basic cookie cutter. So I'm going to call that circle cookie cutter. And we're hit that green check mark. So now we're going to go back to looking at this in 3D view. So we're just going to right click and choose isometric. Zoom out a little bit so we can see what's going on. And we're going to extrude this. First, we're going to extrude the cutting ring, the edge that's going to be doing the cutting. And we're going to extrude that four tenths of an inch. And we're going to follow that cutter. And so now we've just created a ring. We are not quite done yet. Um, we, we lost our flange, you see. So we're going to go ahead and turn that sketch back on. And we're going to extrude that flange. This is our reinforcement flange. We're going to extrude that a depth of six hundredths of an inch, 0 0.06 inches. And there you have it. And so now we have, and we can turn that sketch back off so we're not looking at those dotted lines. And you can see here we now have a basic cookie cutter. If we want to make the edge just a little bit sharper, we can hit the chamfer button and tap the outside edge here which will put a bevel on the outside edge. And 0 0.06, let's make that 0 0.04. I don't want a truly sharp edge. And there you have it. This is our super basic cookie cutter uh, for making circular cookies, like smiley face cookies, cut cookies like that. You can see that the it's got a reinforcement flange for giving it stiffness. It's got a a blade, the sharp edge wall, that goes up uh, just under a half an inch in thickness so it can cut the cookie. It's got a wide opening to pop the cookie out of the cutter. And we've got a slightly sharpened edge on it to make it a little easier to push through the dough. This is our basic cookie cutter, and we've designed it in such a manner that the 
with the flanges on the bottom. So when we go to print this, it'll be easy to build up from bottom to top. So that's the most basic cookie cutter that we can make. Super easy. And hopefully you will have fun creating this and we'll be able to create new awesome designs on your own.